Hai Bener Kopi, welcome back to YouTube Autumn Vlog Channel Buat kamu Bener Kopi yang suka banget dengan yang namanya cappuccino, latte, apalagi latte art Dan kamu itu obsesi banget dengan apa yang ada di latte kamu Seperti tulip, love, bahkan rosetta, bahkan swan Kamu nggak usah khawatir karena untuk hari ini aku mendatangkan satu tamu yang jauh dari sana di negara Itali Hadir di sini, di Autumn Coffee Dan beliau adalah SCAE trainer, the best SCAE teacher 2015 dan juga the best passionate educator 2012 dan juga the winner of Italian Championship 2002. Bayangin dan beliau adalah penemu dan juga inventor dari latte art dan beliau banyak banget ya untuk awardnya merupakan ambassador dari brand Orchestrali. So without further ado, please let me introduce you Luigi Lupi. Buongiorno. Buongiorno Luigi Lupi, come on sta? Ah, this is Spanish. Oh, hey, come, come on sta? Come on sta? Bene, grazie, bene. Bene, grazie. <laughs> Mi scusi, ma non parlo italiano. English, ah, okay? you're speaking, eh? You're English, speaking okay. Italian. Very nice. <laughs> Anyway, is Luigi Lupi. Okay. okay. Ingat ya, Luigi, Luigi Lupi. Lupi. Thank you to say me uh, the best, okay? Because I understand that your language. <laughs> I understood what you say. Oh, terima kasih. Beliau mengerti apa I'm yang saya bicarakan. Baiklah, baik. I'm uh, Luigi Lupi. And, uh, I'm the oldest, not the best, the oldest barista <laughs> around the world. I start uh, to compete uh, as a barista in 2002, winning the first Italian barista championship. And uh, how to say, I was lucky because uh, in Italy nobody knew at that time uh, what was a barista competition. Because in Italy, uh, many, many, bar many barman, bartender knew the competition about the bartending, about the sommelier, about wine, but no coffee. And then uh, in 2001, uh, three companies in Italy, uh, Musetti Company in uh, Sandali and uh, another company uh, producing uh, coffee machine, they joined together to start with the SCA Italy in 2001. In 2002, they organized the first Italian Barista Championship. And then uh, I was lucky because uh, at the time there was uh, there were just uh, four or five competitors, and then it was easy for me to win. I, anyway, uh, winning the Italian Barista Championship, I can uh, I could go to Norway in uh, in Oslo to participate in the uh, I think I was the third. World Barista Championship, and then I didn't win. I reached the first place, but uh, in that time, all uh, the audience could see how I can did, I can made the cappuccinos. When I prepare four cappuccinos, I prepare four cappuccinos with this uh, technique called latte art. But at that time, nobody knew what was latte art and then uh, after the competition many many countries many many companies start to call me to learn latte art okay and then uh, in uh, 17 years i was uh, going around the world in many many countries to 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 teach how to do latte art but this is a pity Okay, it's a pity because uh, the people want to start with latte art instead to start with coffee. Right, yes, latte exactly. Art must be the end of the track, mm, the, right. the way. Okay. Must be the end, not the start. First, the baristas must have skills and knowledge, and knowledge about coffee. Okay because the base of all beverages is coffee. So you are strongly a believer and a firm believer for a taste 
rather than good design. Of course, of course. So the yeah. fundamental thing is more to express that. Of body. course, of course. Okay. The most important thing is uh, the coffee. Okay? Right. okay. Latte art in milk is uh, something to get uh, to dress in a good way the beverages. Okay? The customer get impressed to see some patterns, nice pattern in the cappuccino. But the base of the beverages is coffee. Bad coffee, bad cappuccino. What is the first pattern that you invent? Nobody, nobody knows who is the inventor of the first patterns in the cappuccino. Okay? okay. Nobody knows. I can explain how start Latte Art. In, uh, I don't remember, I think in 1996-97, more than 30 years ago. I was lucky, okay, because I could see a big bar, big coffee shop, the name is Bauli, Bauli Coffee Shop, full of people outside, long queue of people waiting for the opening. And then, it was very early, and then I was impressed to see so many people waiting to drink coffee or cappuccino. Mm -hmm. okay. And then I enter in the coffee shop with the, the people, okay, because at seven o'clock they open. Yes. Mm -hmm. I ask my first espresso the day, and I could see this guy, this barista, working behind the coffee machine, mm -hmm. making cappuccinos with one heart, one apple, one rosetta, not well done. The name of this guy is Piero Merlo. Piero Merlo, Merlo. okay. It was very funny to see how this guy moved the jug to, to do some Pattern. patterns yeah. in, uh, in the cappuccino. And then I told him, congratulations, congratulations because I'm your colleague but I never seen something like that. Okay, congratulations because your movement are so kind, so gentle. Mm -hmm. uh, your cappuccino is so nice. Mm -hmm. And he answered me, ah, thank you. You are very, very gentleman to, to say me something uh, like that. And then I told him, look at, I can teach you, but you have to teach me yeah. how to do patterns this kind of patterns yes. in cappuccino. And then we took agreement yeah. mm -hmm. to share my technique in uh, cutting vegetables and fruit mm -hmm. and he, in uh, his technique to do mm -hmm. this kind of decorated cappuccinos. At that time, the name is decorated cappuccinos. Okay, it's not latte. Ah, it's not latte. And then every night I reach him, we share each other the technique. I was to, to see all his movement, mm -hmm. okay? And then, in this way, I can start to understand the techniques to do apple, heart, and very bad rosetta, okay. okay? But what happened? I improve, improve the technique, I improve the patterns, mm -hmm. and I took to create one movie, mm -hmm. okay, to sell in Italy or via internet okay. with the first e-shop in my uh, uh, very elementary uh, website, yeah. mm -hmm. this kind of movie, this kind of training, record training, mm -hmm. and I was browsing mm -hmm. the keyword yes. uh, decorated cappuccinos um. and I met one guy okay, called David Schumer from uh, Seattle, USA. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he, this guy was selling via internet one movie, the training mm -hmm. about the baristas. Okay. I speak about baristas. The name of this movie was Latte Art. Oh, okay. Okay? And then I was impressed. Look, at, I was thinking to do something like that if somebody mm -hmm. did first before the me. Mm -hmm. And then I contact him, 
via email, I wrote one email to understand, to understand better, okay? uh, to introduce him myself. In the same moment, I sent the email to him, yes. I received by him one email. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, in the same, is uh, unbelievable, yes. unbelievable. Yes, exactly. Unbelievable. And you sent, very, and very at the same exciting, time, very exciting. back to you. He was uh, looking for around the world if somebody yeah. did what the, he did. Yeah. <laughs> the same thing that yes, he actually did, then, but nobody did that. This is you. David Schumer. Wow, okay. And then we start to become a friend via internet. And then he sent me, he sent me his uh, movie. We share mm -hmm. and I sent him my movie. His movie was uh, the name Latte Art. Mm -hmm. My movie was called Decorated Cappuccinos. Decorated But cappuccinos. two different co uh, topics because uh, his movie was uh, focalized mostly in the barista job. Yeah. How to grind the bean coffee, how to use the tamper, how to use the coffee machine. Mm -hmm. It's just one small rosetta, not well done, okay? Instead, my movie was only, only in latte, All right. okay? okay? Making cappuccinos, 30 minutes practicing and uh, uh, showing, showing only to steam milk mm -hmm. and how to pour milk in the cup to do three different patterns. Apple, heart, heart, and rosetta. Okay. okay? And then, turning back one step, with Pierre Romero, I ask him, where you learn? Who he invented? And he told me, nobody knows. I learned by the first year barista okay. working here. Mm -hmm. And he don't know, I don't know where he learned. Nobody knows. And nobody knows. Nobody knows. And then, I'm not, I'm not the inventor of okay. Latte Art. The word Latte Art was invented by David Schumer. Okay. Eh? David Schumer. Not that. Seattle, Espresso Vivace Roastery Company in Seattle. I was, I'm considered the father of the Latte Art because after the 2002, when I reached the first place in the, the World Barista yeah. Championship, mm -hmm. everybody started to contact, started to, to contact me to learn uh, what start five or six years later, because Latte Art is a very good name, very yeah. nice name. Mm -hmm. That's an interesting history that I've got here. Jadi sebenarnya perikmat kopi untuk penemu founder dari Latte Art gak ada orang yang tahu. Bahkan dari Pak Luigi sendiri mengaku kalau beliau bukan uh, penemunya, penemunya tuh bisa datang dari mana aja. Tapi beliau untuk penemuan pertama tuh ditemukan oleh uh, David Wright. David, yes. yep. David. David, yes. teman baiknya uh, Bapak Luigi dan Bapak Luigi sendiri adalah the father of Latte Art. I suppose, yep. Yes. yes. Yeah. Dia yang membuat, dia yang patenkan nama Latte Art dan dia membuat Rosetta, um, Apple, you see Apple ya? Apple, Rosetta, Rosetta and Heart. Dia yang patenkan desainnya juga, namanya juga dipatenkan oleh beliau. I, I invented Tulip. Oh, uh, okay. Yes. Tulip was invented by me in 2004 in an exhibition in Greece, in uh, Thessaloniki city. There was uh, one exhibition. I was there invited by Mr. Talumis of a Tough Company and then I was there to do Latte Art and in this occasion I invented the Tulip. Okay. Now Tulip I think is uh, the, the, the most popular yeah. patterns. It's okay. everywhere right now. It's the easier also. Thanks it's to you. <laughs> ah, thanks to me. Thank you. Muchas gracias. Yeah. Yes. Monte gracias. Monte gracias. <laughs> yeah, Tulip itu juga di invent oleh beliau. Beliau adalah penemu pertama dengan hasil art yaitu tulip di latte art kamu. Okay, what do you think about mm, the older? I mean, when you did your latte art, what do you think about the previous one and the barista right now? Back then, nobody uh, did that latte art. What do they do for their cappuccino and latte? 
But look at uh, the classic cappuccino is uh, one milk beverage, yep. okay, served in a one cup. Mm -hmm. The recipe is one espresso, okay, and fill the cup with steamed milk, yep. okay. There is no patterns. There is no patterns. Yes. The, ca the classic cappuccino is to pour steamed milk yep. in this kind of uh, cappuccino yep. cup. Yep in one espresso, mm -hmm. okay? And then, the real, the real patterns mm -hmm. in the classic cappuccino is all white, mm -hmm. okay? With one dark ring, yep. perfect dark ring. Yes. It's very difficult. That's the classic Some, one. I think the best baristas, the best baristas, the best latte art maker yep. can't do it. They can't? They can't. They can. Seriously, I mean, it's, it's very hard. difficult. It's very difficult. There's Later no, we can try. <laughs> there is no art at try. all in that cappuccino. No, because, because uh, they use very liquid milk yep. with a very small quantity of form. Yep. It's necessary. Yes. It's a must. Yep. Because in other way you can you can't you can't do mm. extreme latte art. I okay. understand it, yeah. but the real cappuccino, the real cappuccino must be with at least one the centimeter one. The, of, the of chocolate cream. Rim. Of cream. No, 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 not chocolate. The, the coffee rim, the espresso rim. One centimeter of uh, form. Of form. Of form. Okay. form. And around the, the cup rim. must be dark color made by the crema of co the wow. espresso crema. Okay. okay, now I know. This is the classic <laughs> cappuccino. Classic yeah. cappuccino. What is the difference from cappuccino and latte art? Yep. Mm -hmm. There is many, many difference if you consider latte art, extreme latte art, like the competitor. Okay. But trust me, if you taste the competitors latte art in the competition, mostly of them are undrinkable low 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 temperature no cream in the surface yep. mm -hmm. but this is extreme latte art you can do latte art a good barista a good barista a good latte art maker can serve latte art with some quantity of four this is the good barista the good barista must have knowledge doing extreme latte art but also the, the classic cappuccino. Yep. The real barista must manage the form as you want. Okay. So the final yes. question that I will ask is right now, uh, the Tetwave coffee is everywhere. You can't deny it's moving everywhere. So what do you think about, in your opinion, what do you think about Tetwave coffee? And how do you cope up with that, the challenges that you have to face with the third wave coffee and the milk-based coffee? I leave the, the first wave, the second wave, yeah. the third wave. Now there is a, bloom, uh, a booming yes. about coffee, yep. not only in Indonesia, yep. around the world, also in Italy. Trust me, in Italy there is a, also the third wave, there is a booming of coffee in Italy because now in the last four or five years, thank you to SCA, thank you to the Specialty Coffee Association, okay. the coffee knowledge, the coffee skills are increased and improved a lot, the baristas in Italy. Because till before SCA, before SCA, the barista in Italy didn't, didn't know about coffee. About my new brain as well. That's the real truth. And then now, <coughs> around the world, there are many, many coffee lovers also. Yes. Not only professional. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, also, the, the, the ladies in the families mm -hmm. want to buy uh, brewer tools to yep. prepare coffee. And the coffee is increasing the comparing device. to the tea. Yes, okay? exactly. Yeah. Most Mostly in the, in the in the Far East, mm -hmm. okay. Yep. In the Far East, you are tea culture. Yeah. We are tea drinker, mm -hmm. but now the tea is going down, and the coffee 
is growing a lot. Terima kasih Pak Luigi, thank you so much Pak terima, Luigi. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. <laughs> Bapak udah kasih aku banyak banget informasi tentang latte dan juga historinya gimana, penemunya tuh gimana. Dan untuk sekarang kita langsung aja praktis ya, hands on praktis di barnya Oten Coffee dengan anyway, Robby Ferlian. Anyway, thank you to Oten Company. Thank okay. you. Thank you to Vito Betion, the, mm -hmm. the owner of uh, Orchestra and Coffee Machine. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you for taking your time to come here and visit us. It's a pleasure. Thank, Thank you so much. And right now, let's hands on, heads up to, to, yep, to the bar. Hot and coffee, ngopi dalam sekali klik.